Today, I'm wearing my new red jacket that the wife bought me for Christmas. You might want to know that this is the Serve the Home logo because it's from Patrick. He sold this jacket for the last couple years <clears throat> and I've been asking the wife for one. And she came through. I've been a long time member of the forum at STH and watched a lot of Patrick's review. Now he reviews a lot of hardware that I like, but he also reviews a lot of the little firewalls. Well, because of his review, I went out and bought this, the RS86. I got this back in December. I think it was about the 1st of December or 2nd of December, and I've been running my home lab off of this. Tiny little thing. As you can see, it fits in my hand. Tiny, right? Three 2.5 gig ports. My main switch, which is PoE from Ingenious, very, very recommended, has 2.5 gig. So when I saw this review that Patrick did it, I had to go out and buy it. Clicked, buy it now, was here in two weeks, and I plugged it in, love it. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all the specs, I'm gonna plug it back in, I'm gonna do some uh, speed tests with it, show you guys about it. Right now it's running OpenSense, it does run PFSense. I like OpenSense, so it runs OpenSense. Patrick's review had, um, the bottom piece, which had dual SFP plus Mellanex uh, ports. That's the version I really, really wanted, but I wanted to see how well it's gonna do. I didn't wanna buy a piece of hardware that wasn't going to be up to my standards. Extremely happy with this. I can't believe this little thing runs my whole network and doesn't even break a sweat. Let's get into the specs. I'm gonna plug this in. It takes about a minute to boot up. It's literally silent it makes no noise at all as it's booting up my network will come back online we'll go over the specs and I'll show you all the stuff that I have okay as it's booting up uh, the switch takes longer because I rebooted the switch so that way everybody gets a new IP address and I'll show you guys back online um, really enjoy this device I can't believe such a small little package device will bring a lot of bandwidth and good good uh, internet connection to your house perfect for the home lab guys they can only pulls like six watts that's that's nothing my skookum firewall that's sorry over in the rack over there pays pulls way more do i really need a xeon d for my firewall with 16 cores 16 gigs of ram and sfp i don't think so what i do want to say is very impressed with my box as I bought mine with the lowest specs. Four cores, uh, four gigs of RAM, and a 16 gig SSD. Now they have built on board, you can't change it. They have a couple other models, and I'll go over that once we have internet connection here. And I'll show you the one that I'm going to buy. I'm gonna buy another one of these things because I'm really happy with this. Okay, fully booted, ready to go. We'll switch over to my screen, we'll log into the box, and I'll show you guys a couple things. Do a speed test, and uh, go over the specs and stuff. So we're logged into the box, as you can see right here. I'm going to do a speed test, so that way you can see it come up on the graph here, and see that the CPU will go up and down. Let's try this. I have gigabit at home, symmetrical. So as you can see, we got 980 through. Let's go back and forth. So this one's going to Vancouver, Kamloops. I would pretty much say that's a symmetrical connection. And if we go back to the firewall, we can see that it actually did our symmetrical connection. So there's our up right here. And then here's our down right here. And we're just about at the one gig mark, right? I mean... What more can you ask for? It's sitting at 7%. 7%. And I have Saracuda running, so it's doing IDS and all that stuff. I didn't install Zen Armor on here because it's kind of low on the RAM. It's only got 4 gigs of RAM, and as you can tell, it's using 16 or 17%, but extremely happy. And if you really notice, I'm using the latest, I wouldn't say latest, I would say the, maybe it's beta still, 23.1%. Uh, sense for OpenSense. 
that's not really on their website, but it's on the forums. I'm playing with it on this box, and I thought, since I have a box that I want to play with and all that stuff, I'm going to put the uh, this version on here. Not a single issue at all. You probably saw that Saracuda wasn't running when I did my speed test there. I just noticed that when I was doing my video editing. I tried doing another speed test by launching or starting the Saracuda service, and then it failed. Then I noticed there was an update ready to be done. I've done all the updates, rebooted the box, and now I'm going to do a proper uh, speed test for you guys to show you that everything is running. 910 down. And let's go more info. 940 up. Perfect. And we can prove that that happened because we see our up and then our down right here. Let's go over with what you get when you get the brand new box. This is what the box looks like. Nice shiny box. I think um, mine wasn't was dropped in the corner because as we can see there's a little bit of a crinkle in the corner there. Back of the box, as we can tell mine isn't opened at all, but it shows you all the specs of what it is and what different versions have or in the box. Mine was the low spec 16 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM, as we can tell at the top there, the first item. When you open the box, you get power adapter, 12 volts at 4 amps, and the box itself, the RS, R86S. The instruction manual is kind of in Chinese and English. It's not really needed because there's not really anything you need to know, but it does come with one. It shows you some specs and some information. As we see here, we got our three ports, 12 volts, 4 amp plug, our first USB AV port, Etho 0, Etho 1, and Etho 2 are both 2.5 gig Intel i225 network ports, very well used in a lot of firewalls and very well supported. Left side of the box, we have a USB AV port for a keyboard or your boot media. When I booted up mine, I used this one for the USB stick for the memory or to, to boot off of. And then on the front one, I plugged in my USB stick or my um, keyboard that I have. I'll put a picture and a description in the video for my little Logitech keyboard. We have an HDMI port for our video, power port, and an LED to say that it's on. Because it's silent, it doesn't make any noise at all. It's literally silent. On the other side, there's nothing there. Just so you guys know, it's solid aluminum. There's no plastic on this device at all. It's just raw aluminum. And it's nicely uh, CNC too. Very Inside, when you take the bottom off, you'll see the motherboard. In the bottom left here, this is our 4 gig onboard memory. Very, very fast. Boots very quick. There's our, at the top there in the middle, we see our micro SD slot. And beside that, you'll see two ribbon cables. And I believe those are the PCIe um, slots. So when you buy the next model up, it comes with the base with the SFP ports. And that's what connects those. And I believe one of those is for the M.2 and the other one's for the um, SFP. Taking the motherboard out, we can see that it's solid CNC inside. And there's lots and lots of thermal paste a better picture of that thermal paste and it's mucky it's actually good quality but it's there's a lot so I am gonna when I put mine back together I removed all this and I just put a little dab in there we don't need tons and tons of it bottom right hand corner you'll see this is where our storage is as you go to the Aliexpress website, you'll see the default page, and it will show you the version with the two SFP ports in the bottom of it. You can see that here, right here on the bottom. Mine is this version right here with no fan, and mine didn't come with a little uh, screw pattern for the heat for a fan, but there's nothing there, so mine is a little bit different. Mine is this version right here. Oh, but as we can see, sorry, 
as we can see, it's got the N5100 CPU in there, four cores, four gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs of eMMC. It boots really quick. I, it's, I'm gonna say it's less than a minute. What takes the long when I booted mine up is the switch, because I already booted the switch at the same time. Um, down here, a little bit more specs. Four megs of cache, 2.8 um, TDP, max boost at six watts. Uh, mine does not have the one point or the M.2 slot or the Wi-Fi. I didn't want those kind of versions because I don't like Wi-Fi in any of my um, firewalls. Like it's separated. It does have 16 gigs. So the other version that I want to get is no, it's the same one but one down, and it comes with Wi-Fi, which what I wouldn't install. And it does come with the hard the M.2, which would be nice. But I'd only use the eight gigs of RAM and the 128 gig storage. It does come with, when you get the version with the um, SFP ports, but they're Malinex. And a couple of people on the forum said that running this uh, box with the L Malinex, there was some issues. Sometimes internet traffic wouldn't pass through the VLANs and all that stuff. So I thought, hmm, I was originally gonna buy the version with SFP Plus because I wanted a small firewall with SFP Plus because I wanted to have this go from here from the firewall to my main switch with an SFP DAT cable, and that would be my backbone for the 10 gig network. But I didn't get that version. I wanted to try it out, make sure that I was gonna be happy with it. And I am, so maybe I'll get the version with the SFP Plus, I'm not sure yet. 2.5 gig um, uplink to my network is plenty of speed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this link in below, and I'm gonna say thank you very much to Patrick for doing an awesome view review and, um, convincing me to buy one and to wear this jacket. I really like it. And uh, I'm gonna call it like that. So if you guys want a small OpenSense firewall that will run your home lab, quiet, efficiently, low power, and will not break the bank, this one right here. So $368 Canadian shipped to your house. I mean, how do you go wrong with that? You can't even buy a nice firewall like a PFSense, or not PFSense, you can't even buy a super micro firewall uh, piece of hardware for that. Okay, that wraps up my review. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to leave a link to Patrick's full review of it and uh, go from there. So you guys have a great day and uh, see you later.